Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Donnie, and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. Um, I've had several people ask me recently <clears throat> on how to remove a mesh ruler from your diamond painting. And as you can see here, I have a mesh ruler on my current diamond painting. This is an extremely long one. It is 11 inches. So it's going to go pretty far down beyond where you can see. But I'll try to move this canvas up as I take it off so you can see what I'm doing as I'm pulling it off. So this part here is meant to stick to your diamond painting. That way it doesn't move around while you're placing your drills and you have a perfect placement that way. So getting it off takes a little bit of finesse and a little bit of... Um, skill. Uh, you have to, it's something get, that you would have to, you have to get used to. Some people say it's more bother than it is worth it. But to me, it, I can see here in areas before I put this down because I wasn't doing it on um, this area here. I didn't receive it until I actually got to this point here. Um, as you can see, I've got gaps here, and even with my rose straightener, I'm fid fiddling with it way too much. It's just, I can't seem to get the right gappage. You know, I can't get it perfect. So I really enjoy using the mesh ruler. I mean, yeah, it's not for everybody, and I'm not telling you you have to use it or that you should use it. It is um, um, an acquired taste for um, those who do want to use it, um, they would really like to know how to get that thing off um, their painting without pulling all the drills up, okay? Because when I did my first demonstration, I had not, it was my first time using it. I didn't know um, exactly how to do what, you know, until I've used it quite a bit now. And I've, I've learned a few things on how you know, it makes things a little easier when you're redoing it. So here I am, I'm obsessing over the gaps. It's driving me nuts. So that's why I was excited um, about this new tool when it was first, when I first saw the, um, saw it for the first time on YouTube. So this, I spend more time adjusting my rows um, than I, than normal, I think. And this, the, this, this helps a lot with that because I will not have to adjust these whatsoever. The ones below it, on the other hand, may need it still. I mean, it's it drives me batty having two drills that are not perfectly lined next to each other. Um, and I did start off this one with the smaller one, but I found it to be annoying because it was just too small. I needed a large one. Anyway, let's get to the point. Um, you can use your fingernails. I'm gonna see if there's something I can use here instead of my fingernails, but it doesn't look like it. My fingernails are really short lately, so let's give it a shot. Let me find a finger with some nails, and you just kind of get in underneath to, to start lifting it up, okay? So now I've got it lifted from the corner, and I'm gonna start pushing the drills down as I lift it. I'm just, um, because they don't always click in when you're actually doing the diamond painting. And I used a multi-placer for this entire thing. So just I just keep running my finger across and lifting slowly. And th there's not very many that need to be pushed back down. Um, I, I don't know if these holes are a little bit bigger than my, my smaller one, but this is actually the easiest I've ever experienced with lifting this ruler up. Normally, I have to push a lot of drills back through. But that's all there is to it. You just lift it slowly. And you just feel where you're lifting and make sure the drills push through. Um, rarely, you'll find a drill that won't go through. And that's just because it's way too big and it shouldn't be there anyway. I'm going to try to move this a little bit so you can see some more here. I'm almost, I'm almost done getting it off too. Really easy. I'm really actually shocked because the small one 
I would have a lot lifting and I'd have to do a lot more um, of pushing the drills through. So this is not a bother to me at all, this little bit that I'm having to push down. And there we are. Look at how straight that row is, those rows are. It's like eight rows. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. yeah, eight rows. But as you can see, the row below it isn't as straight, so I am going to be obsessing over getting that straight. Now, if you want to know how to uh, place the ruler, I will show you that now. Uh, after I quit obsessing. Okay. That's kind of driving me nuts right there. That's the big gap. Okay. Uh, there we go. That's a little better. All right. So this ruler doesn't, it's still not quite as long as this diamond painting. So I have this much of an area here that I don't, here you go. I don't have um, ruler for, but for the rest, all the way down to the end, I do. So there's still sticky area available. And all I do is I line it up with the very bottom. Okay, you can see, there we go. I line the very last notch because the edges here have curves that will fit right on, on top of your previous row. And so I just take the very last one, I butt it up right up against that previous row and it, and it will fit perfectly. And as, once I get, make sure it's all the way up against it and I can see that the holes are lined up, then I will drop it in place and press it down right there. And so now I'm ready for my next eight rows. And I can whip this out in probably about 30 minutes, um, this entire row. Oh, these entire eight rows, I should say. Um, this row, I didn't go, um, I didn't start at the very bottom with it because I had this stuff done already and it would have um, gotten in the way of that. So I just kind of went down a little bit. So I, just, I don't have very many rows that I'm going to have to do by hand without uh, the ruler. So I'm almost finished with this and I am having the funnest time. I mean, I am having so much fun using my multi-placer along with the ruler. It works great for me. So um, that's another video though, showing you all my different multi-placers and how I use them. And so that's it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope it helps somebody who is interested in using the mesh ruler in get it on straight or pull it off without any mishaps. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Have fun diamond painting and always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.